Hi, Elmo. Hi, oh, Grover. Oh, Elmo, Elmo, huh? Elmo. Huh? I was looking for you. What, what, what? I'm having a teensy bit of trouble with the alphabet. Teensy bit? Could you help me? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Elmo knows the alphabet. I know, too. I'm just, um, I'm having trouble with a little bit of it. Elmo I know would most love of to it. help Grover. Okay, you go start. Okay, okay. A? Got that. Keep going. B, C, D. E yeah. F G H I J yeah. K yeah. L got that. M N O P Q R Keep what going, keep going, with? keep going, keep going. Okay. R S T U V W X Y Hold it, hold it. What? This part I know. Z. Thank you. I had the trouble with the first part. Thank you. You are welcome, Grover. Oh, wait. I'm going this way. Okay, Elmo go this way. See you later. Hello. This is your old pal, Grover. And I'm going to recite a poem that I wrote all by my furry self called Poem to a Bubble. I hope you know all the cute rhymes. Okay, please, send in the bubble. What? Wait, wait, wait. Not so fast. Sorry about that. Send in another bubble and please, blow it higher this time so it will last through my whole poem. That's better. Poem to a bubble. Little bubble, round and fair. Floating slowly through the air. Oh no. I am very sorry we are having these bubble troubles. Please stand by. Send in another bubble, please, and make it a slow one this time. Ah, that's nice. Okay. Ahead. Home to a bubble. Little bubble, round and fair. Floating slowly through the air. The wind blows you hither yon. And then you pop. You are all gone. You last but a teeny while. But while you do, you make me smile. I did it. I did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The waiter actually took my order already. Maybe for once I'll get my food on time in this place. Here you are, sir. One beautiful plate of spaghetti for you. MMM. There you are. Well, would you look at that? It's exactly what I ordered. Yes, of course it is. Sir, this is not any old greasy spoon. Now would you like anything else, sir? Let's see. I got my fork, my napkin. No, no, I think that's it. I'm fine. Thank you. I don't need anything else right now. Okay, well you can just call me if you need me. Although, I am very busy, so please do not abuse the privilege. Yes, I know. Thank you, sir. Huh, the service in this place really has improved. I wonder how the food is. M &M. Waiter? Coming. Excuse me, sir. Ah. Did you see that? He knocked right into my back. Ugh. Waiter, coming. Excuse me, sir. Ah. He keeps hitting me in the back. Waiter, just a moment, sir. Ugh. I thought the service had improved here. Waiter, I'll be there in just a moment, sir. This is ridiculous. I can't eat like this. Waiter, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. I am sorry sir, we are very busy as I said, now what would you like, sir? I would like for you to stop knocking me in the back. Every time you go by, you run right into me and I can't eat my lunch. Oh, I am so sorry, sir. I will not do that to you any longer, I will not hit you in the back anymore. Good. Hey, what are you doing now? 
I am now going to run in front of you. Huh? Wait. Just a moment. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, where did my blue customer go? Oh well, I guess he was not hungry after all. Oh, excuse me. Kermit the Frog here. And today I'm going to talk about the number hey, five. Hey Foggy, baby. Not again. Miss me. Oh Foggy. Yes indeed. Well I wanted to give you a little pats. I remember those little pats. Listen Grover, now that you're here. Would you want to help me talk about the number five? I would love to help you Froggy. I figured you would. Take a look back there. See that big pile of blocks back there? That a big pile. Okay now I would like you to go back to that pile of blocks and bring me five blocks. Okay. Five blocks. What's the matter? I do not know what five blocks is. You don't know how to count five blocks. Don't rub it in. How many blocks can you count Grover? One. Okay. Go back there and bring me one block. Oh, I knew that very well. Go do it. Okay. Here goes. Grover will go get one block. Okay. How are you doing? I think I have the yellow one. Got the one block. Okay. Now go back and get me one more block. Go bring one more block. Now you will notice that Grover has gone one time and we have one block. One block. Here you go. Okay. Now listen Grover. Go back there and bring me one more block. One more. Go go go. Okay. I go go go. Now you see. Grover has gone two times to the block pile and we have here two blocks. See? One. Two. It's a long way to travel two blocks. I did I did. Now get me one more block. Froggy I'm getting tired. Well, just one more block. Grover has now gone three times to the block pile and we now have three blocks here. See? One, two, three. Three blocks. Okay, put it down right here Grover. Okay good, now go back there and bring me one more block Grover. Right on. Grover has now gone four times to the block pile and we now have here four blocks. See? One, two, three, four. Okay, put it down here. Good. Now. No no no, Grover come back here. Now listen Grover, tell me, how many times did you go to the block pile? Five times. Right, you went five times to the block pile and so what have you got? Sore back? No, Grover. Tired feet? No no no, you got five blocks. See? You went five times to the block pile each time you brought back one block, so you now have five blocks. Five blocks. I did it. Right, so now you understand about five blocks. I understand, I certainly do. Good, now we're gonna talk about a hundred, Grover. Go back over there and bring me one block, would you? <laughs> testing, one, two, three, testing. Here you go. Thanks, Chris. All right. Okay. Oh, hey. Welcome to Sesame Street. Oh, boy. Did you ever get here just in time? This is gonna be one amazing day. The Canfon Count has just won the Nobel Prize for counting, you see. World's greatest counter. How great is that? Ha ha. Oh, very great indeed, my friends. This is Lars and Sigrid. You're the ones who picked the count to win the prize. Indeed we did. But we are doing reach it all in two hours to present the Nobel Prize for reselling. We must present the count with his prize as soon as possible. Okay, then let's get to it. Are you ready? Systems are go. Okay, guys, you're on. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that we present this year's Nobel Prize for counting to the greatest counter in the world, the, the Count, Count von Count. Count. We said, the Nobel Prize for counting to the greatest counter in the world, the, the Count, Count von, von Count. Count. What's going on? Excuse me, but where is the count? I don't know. You, you don't, don't know? know? Yeah, no, we know. We know, of course we know. He's just not here at this exact present moment. But he will be here soon. Yes, absolutely. Because we can't wait. Then we need reseller waits for his reach at all. Understood. Just give us a couple minutes, okay? Hey, what's up? Is something wrong? Nope. Problems here. Just a slight delay, okay? Slight delay, everybody just sit tight, okay? I don't get it. Where is he? He knew today was the big day. Hang on, he's texting me, he's in Chicago. Chicago? What's he doing in Chicago? He got a call about some counting emergency in the Midwest, and now his flight's delayed and he's stuck at the airport. Tell him he's gotta get back here. Tell him he's gonna lose his prize. What's he saying? Well, he's counting all the flights that have been delayed at the airport. That's 16, 17, 18, that's 18 flights that have been delayed, ah. Uh. Count, you gotta get back here now. Time ticks away, my friends. Yeah, have you located the count? Yeah, I'm afraid he's been delayed. You might just have to give the award to one of us, and then we can give it to him when he gets here. No, no, no. Impossible. Impossible? Why? Because there's one final counting test you must pass to confirm that he is in fact the world's greatest counter. And if he isn't here to pass the test, we will have to give the prize to the world's second greatest counter. You can't do that. But don't worry, you won't have to. The count will be here any minute. Very well then, one more minute. One more minute? How is the count gonna be here one more minute? Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that we present this year's Nobel Prize for counting to the world's greatest counter, the, the Count, Count von Count. <laughs> Greetings, I am the Count von Count. Honey, you don't look like your pictures. What? Cape, monocle, mighty beard of course I do, I am the Count, and I would like my prize. Oh, well very well, but first, the final counting test, please. Behind that sign, right over there is a stage filled with dancing pickles. When we raise the sign, you will have 18 seconds to count them. Dancing pickles? I mean, dancing pickles. Raise the sign. Oh, very disappointing. The Count Von Count has failed the test. I'm afraid we'll have to give the Nobel Prize for counting to the world's second greatest counter. But wait, you can't do that. You can't do that. Not yet. Why, Why not? not? Because, because, uh, this man is not the Count Von Count. <laughs> Who is he? He is the great imposter of Sesame Street. Yeah, he spends all his time pretending to be other people. I do. Oh, oh, I do. Oh, that, yesterday I pretended to be Cookie Monster. N O M, N O M, N O M, N O M, N O M. Next, Gladys the Cow. If that man is not the Count Von Count, then where is the Count? Oh, we just heard, he's gonna be here any minute. This is a promise. One more minute. One more minute. <laughs> Oh, what are we gonna do? Let me just text him and see what's going on. Tell him to get back here right away. What's he saying? What's he saying? What what what? He's counting all the announcements at the airport explaining why his flight's been delayed. That's 17, 18, 18 announcements. Ah. ah. Well, tell him to come back. Count, come back, come back low. Okay, something is going on here. What is it? Yeah, the count's in Chicago. Chicago? What's he doing in Chicago? Well, don't ask him. The point is this, if we want the count to win that prize, 
We need somebody who can pretend to be the count who can actually count those pickles. Meaning someone who can count things really fast. Someone who lies in bed at night practicing really fast counting. Uh, do you have someone in particular in mind? Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure and increasing impatience that we present this year's Nobel Prize for Counting to the world's greatest counter, the, the Count, Count von Count. Excuse me, but is this person really the Count von Count? He certainly looks like the Count. Oh. Very well then the counting test. You will have 18 seconds to count the dancing pickles. Let the test begin. Raise Allah. the sign. I'm afraid that the count has failed the test. No. 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 no because once again, this person is not the Count Von Count. No, no, you see? In reality, he's actually the Count Von Count's twin brother and Von Count. And it Von Count? <laughs> and, and Von Count loves to count so much, he just pretends to be the Count. Just go get out of here and go home. Going. Oh uh, well. But don't worry, we just got word, the real count will be here any minute now. Any, any minute? minute? Very well, but this is your absolute last chance. Okay everybody, listen up. Now we all want the count to win this prize, right? Okay okay, but frankly, I'm out of ideas. Anybody? Elmo has an idea. Elmo. What is it, Elmo? The count turned Elmo lots of counting tricks. And Elmo thinks there's one trick that could help count the pickles. Those pickles move really fast, Elmo. Do you really think this trick's gonna work? It's gotta work. It's got to. Do it, Elm. Do it, do it, do it. For the third and final time, we will now attempt to present this year's Nobel Prize for Counting to the world's greatest counter, the, the Count, Count von Count. Count. Greetings, Elmo is the Count von Count. Ah. Uh. Wait, Elmo is the Count von Count. Who is this person? Elmo or the Count? Oh, he is definitely the Count. Yes, yeah, Elmo is a, his nickname. His nickname? His Spanish nickname, you know like El Gallo o El Cid? The Count's nickname is Elmo. Very well, the test. Raise the sign. Correct. The Count has passed the final test. Yeah, 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 away, away. Elmo, I mean Elmo, you counted the pickles by two. That is brilliant. Yeah, counting by twos is one of the counting tricks that the count turned Elmo. Oh. Does that mean the count win this prize? Not quite. Not, Not quite. quite? According to their profile, whenever the count completes the counting task, the completion is punctuated by lightning and thunder. Did you hear any thunder? No, I did not. Nor I. Boom 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 boom. Excuse me, but that is not thunder. That is a 3D guard boom 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 behind your program. This man is not the Count von Count. Come, Sigrid. Wait, wait, wait! You can't go. You can't. Even though the Count isn't here, you've got to give him the Nobel Prize for counting. He is the world's greatest counter. He's got millions of people how to count. His counting has made millions of people happy. Correct, but unfortunately, rules are rules. We can only give him the prize if he is here to accept it. He is here. He, he is? is? I am the count. 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 And in tech communicate, people. 
certain they are the count? You must be very popular in much beloved figures. Should he ever actually returned? Please convent to him Mark congratulations. But what about the prize? Oh, we will be giving him to a handheld calculator in Beijing. Farewell. How could this happen? Why did it happen? It is unfair. You know what, I better let the count know. No need to rush back and gave your prize to a Chinese calculator. What's he saying? What's he saying? Oh, he says it's less important to have prizes to count than it is to have friends to count and care about you, and you're not there. Hey, look. That's one, one friend. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ho ho ho, I love counting friends. Ah, ah. Ah. frame shop. I hope I can find a good frame for this nice portrait I brought in. Hello sir, what may I do for you today? Oh no, you again. Yes sir. <sighs> all right, all right, now listen very carefully. Yes sir, yes. I would like a picture frame for this painting. This portrait is very special to me. Oh let me see, oh look at this. 
What a sweet painting of your great, great grandmother. That's my wife. Ouch. Yes, well, I will find a wonderful frame that will be perfect for this portrait, sir. One moment. Please be very careful. It's an original. Alrighty, sir. Okay, is this not a lovely frame? Lovely. That frame is shaped like a circle. My painting is a square. It doesn't fit. Don't you see? You should get a pair of glasses. Sir, I am so sorry. You are absolutely correct. The frame is a circle and the painting is a square. I shall be right back with a wonderful frame for your painting. I'm so sorry, sir. Hey, what's going on back there? Oh, I should have known something like this would happen. I should have run the moment I saw that guy. You're going to love this. Okay, sir. I think we have it. Here we go, sir. There, sir. Where are you, sir? Why are you wearing those sunglasses? Sir, you said I should get a pair of glasses, and the customer's always right. Oh, and now you brought a... A beautiful frame. Are you not happy, sir? A triangle. I know you like it, sir, but it is not good for you to get so excited. Look, that frame is shaped like a triangle. It has three sides and three corners. It doesn't fit the painting. That's because the painting is a square. It has four corners and four equal sides. Do you understand? Well, of course, sir. I'm a professional framer. This here is a triangle, and this over here, this painting is a square. I was just trying to be creative. Ugh. I shall bring you my best square frame, sir. Ugh. Please just bring a square frame for my... What are you doing to my portrait? Just one second, sir. I don't know why I even try. He'll never... At he'll last never. I think we have it. Yes. A frame that is square. Well, maybe I was wrong. At last, sir, I have it. It is a heavy one, but it is a square one. You see a square frame for a square painting. You see four corners and four equal sides. It's perfect. I'll take it. Oh, I am so excited and I'm so happy you're satisfied. May I say you look very attractive in a square frame. Aw. Oh. Ah. Will that be cash or charge? Oops, sorry. Oh, I found the blanket. See, in here, oh, I found the blanket. Oh, 
else in there? No blanket? Any blanket? Uh, no blanket? Oh, that's not the blanket. Uh, oh, just not. Okay, well. Uh, okay, no blanket. Dog done it. Oh, oh aren't you clever, sir? That is another way to keep warm. Covering yourself with all this stuff. Do uh, you still want the blanket? Oh, you've done more than enough. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, oh, go ahead, Herb. Thank you. Okay. A. Very good. B. Yeah. C. Yeah. D. M. M. H. M. M. E. F. F. Wait, wait, Herb. Wait a minute, but is a G because Grover starts with G. That's right, Grover. That is a G and Grover does start with G. Right. G. G. H. That is an H, Herbie. Herbie, H begins your name. Herbie. How nice of you to notice, Grover. Yes. H. H. I. I. J. That is right. K. Let me see. You're right, Herb. That's a K. L. L. M. M. N. N. Oh wait, Herb. I checked this one out for you. We'll be really sure, okay? Okay. Herb. Yeah. That's an O. Thank you, Grover. Right. Um. O. P. P. Q. Q. R. R. S. S. T. No, thank you. Just had some. T. H. M. M. U. U. V. Here we go. V. W. W. X. X. Y. Y. And Z. Z. O. Herbie. I am so proud of you. Very good, Grover. Yuck. Huh? You look awful in that, Harry. But dear. Trust me. But honey. Oh, look at this nice suit. This is just what I've been looking for. It's perfect for me if I could just find a salesperson. Uh, sir? Just a moment. What's he doing here? Alrighty, now how may I help you? Oh, it is you. It is so nice to see you. What are you doing here? You're a waiter. I may have things to many people. And now today at this moment, I am here to sell you some new clothes to make you look highly spiffy. Now what might I show you, sir? Well, I would just had learned this suit. I like to try it on. Uh huh. Very good I might I say, sir. Yes and what size are you? Size 2. 2? Oh dear, no, I am sorry we are all out of size 2s. Oh well, perhaps I could show you something else. No no, I want this suit. This looks like a size 2. Well that's because it's a size 2. Well then, I'll try this one on. Oh no sir, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Because if I take the clothes off of him sir, you see, then he will. He will have no clothes on. And no clothes on means he will be very embarrassed. I don't believe this. He won't be embarrassed. He can't be embarrassed. He doesn't have any feelings. He's a mannequin. He's made of plastic. So? So, he's not alive. How do you know? Well, if something's alive, it breathes, it eats, and it grows. The mannequin doesn't breathe, or eat, or grow, does it? Well, no sir. Now that you mention it, you know, I have never seen him take a single breath, nor he has never ever take a lunch. I thought he is so wonderful employee for that, and he has certainly not grown out a smidge. He has been a size 2, ever since I have worked here. So that means, he can't be alive, he can't have feelings, so he can't be embarrassed, so let me have this suit. No no no, no can do sir, you see, he now may not be embarrassed because he is a naked, but I will be. Oh, this is ridiculous, well, put something else on him. What a good idea, sir. Now what can we put on him? Anything, it doesn't matter. Let's see, well, we want to put something that's, that fits right. I know, perfect fit, a perfect idea, here we go. Aw, oh, what are you doing? Ah, cut that out. Give those back. Alrighty. There now, see, I will put your suit of clothes on him while you take his. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Call security. Wah ah 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 ah. Hold it right there sir. Stop right there, OW. That hurts.
What are you guys doing here? You're under arrest for getting naked at the clothing store. Getting naked at the store is illegal and it's against the law. But I didn't start it, Grover started it. He's a waiter of Charlie's restaurant. We don't care. You're coming with us sir. Get in the police car now. You're going to prison for a long time. Hands off the head pal. Grover I'll get you for this. I don't want to go to jail. Hey. Come on. Leave me alone. Oh well, the customer's always right. Right? Right. Welcome to Grover Monster's workout video. Hello, there. This is your furry blue personal trainer, Grover. Welcome to my Monster's workout video. That means that I, Grover, and Bobby here and Sissy, Hi. yes. We are going to show you some exercises to make you healthy and strong. Okay. That is what exercise does, of course, right Bobby and Sissy? Yeah. Yeah. And it is fun too. Ready? Okay. Go. Arms, here we go. Arms, yes, swings your arms like your fun pal Grover and Bobby and Sissy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise is good for counting too. Make those arms swing. Don't stop now. You keep going, okay? Keep going, kids. Yeah, Grover just has to catch his breath, his fourth wind, kind of, and think of the next exercise. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Running around in place, here we go. Run, 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 run. That's it. Running is good for your heart and your lungs. It is so healthy. If you do a lot of running, you can run for a long time without getting tired. But if you don't run enough, you have to stop very soon. I'm going to stop for a moment. Go for the burn. Go for the burn. Go for the burn. Go for the burn. Very good, you're doing very well. Now, what is my next workout? Oh, yes. Oh, brother. I'm not, okay. It's jumping up and down. Here we go. Jump. 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 Jump for help. That's it. Jump, up in the air. Jane Fonda, eat your heart out. Okay. Bobby. Bobby and Sissy, just keep, I tell you, you finish the workout. I've got to stop for a second. Grover needs to take a tiny aerobic nap. But first, remember two things. Exercise makes you healthy and strong. And before you make an exercise video, get in shape. Ugh. Boy, oh, boy, am I hungry. I hope that waiter I always get isn't here today. Ello, sir. My name is Pino, and I'm going to be your waiter today. Oh, happy day. See. A new waiter. I'll finally be able to get a meal without any trouble. Of course, you will. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Aw, oh, what is going on here? Well, I'm waiting on this fine customer. That is what is going on. Right. That's right. So go away. See. Si. No. That is impossible, sir. I cannot go away. This is my table. I am your waiter. But. No, you're not. I am his waiter. Oh, no. I'm afraid you are sadly mistaken, Pino. I am his waiter. But Mr. Grover, I am his waiter. No, Pino. I am his waiter. Quiet. Look, I don't care who my waiter is. I just want something to eat. Yes, sir. And I, your waiter, will get you something to eat. <sighs> no, I'm going to get you something to eat. Wait. Charlie, a oh. number two. A number five for me. Sorry, Charlie. Here you are, sir. There you are. Chicken peeled with roast potatoes. I don't want that. Of course you don't. You want mine. Throw to with fig butter. No. I don't want that either. No problem. It will get you something else. No. I will. I will. 
I will. Wait. Oh, you didn't even hear what I wanted. Oh, miss, miss. Ere you go, sir. A brisket of beef. No, bon appetito. no, no, no. He does not want brisket of beef. He wishes to have a glazed ham. Am I right, sir? No, you're wrong. I don't want either. No problem. Wait for me. Oh, I'm never going to get what I want. Wait. Stop. Come in here. That's enough. You can't keep running back and forth bringing me everything in the kitchen. He is right. See. Si. He agree. But what shall do though? You have to listen to what I want and cooperate. Listen and cooperate? Yes. I will tell you what I want, and you each get me something. Then you'll both be happy. And, and you will be happy? Right. See. Si. Okay. Well, let's try it. In this thing. I am too. Okay. I want orange juice and a tuna sandwich on toast. See. Si. Okay. I will get the orange juice. And we will get you the tuna on toast. Good. Uh huh. Go. I have the worst luck with waiters. Oh. oh. Where's my food? We're so sorry. So sorry. We are all out of orange juice. See. Si. 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 Sandwich tuna, tuna fish. Tuna fish. What? You know, Pino, you are a very good cooperator. And you are a very good waiter, Mr. Grover. Oh, thank you. But someday I hope to direct. Ah. Uh. Today, I will write a mean letter to Big Bird because it's Valentine's Day. Ha 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 ha. 30 minutes later. Yes, I did write a mean letter to Big Bird. Oscar, come downstairs. We are celebrating Valentine's Day. Okay, I'm coming. Hey, bird. Who's going first? I am, Snuffy. So let's see to read our pink card first. Oh, 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 Oscar. How dare you ruin my Valentine's Day. That's it. You are grounded 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 for 156,504 days. Go to your room now. <laughs>